Hollywood man They call me Hollywood man Too proud to stand aside One falling star that longs for one final chance One chance to shoot for the sky Why did you waste your money showing me this crap? Bike movies are out. Joe, I did three bike films for you for practically nothing. Hey, you know, you made a lot of money on me. Uh, we're not gonna start on that, are we, Rafe? All right. I begged and I borrowed and I stole the $125,000 to make this movie and a lot of people are dependent on me and I'm not gonna let them down. I need $375,000. If you don't give it to me, I'm screwed. Sorry, Rafe. No. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's get out of here. Rafe, wait a minute. Here's a number in southern Florida. The man's name is Angelo Russo. I'd advise you not to call him. Thanks, Joe. Rafe, when do we stop? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want, Mr. Russo, you got it. Angelo, Rafe. Call me Angelo. Angelo. Okay, Angelo, let me tell you. We're gonna make ourselves a good film. I know we will, Rafe. Then everything is settled. Oh, Tony, wasn't there one more thing you wanted to mention to Rafe? Oh, yeah. Can I see you alone for a minute, Rafe? Uh, excuse us, Miss Martin. Huh? That's just a couple more things I want to nail down. Oh, yeah. Well, sure, yeah. Can I freshen the drink, Miss Martin? Uh, we put up 375,000. You put up 125,000. We split the profits 50-50. Yeah, that's what Mr. Russo outlined. They provide that you produce a product in the specified time for the specified money. Right, four weeks, we can do it. Yeah, but if you don't do it, we're gonna need some collateral, Rafe. It's just good business. W what do you mean, collateral? Well, 
you own your own last picture outright. You got residual rights on two TV series. You got points and four other movies dribbling in. You got a nice house in Beverly Hills. That's a lot of collateral. You said you could produce in four weeks. I can't. I can. Look, I. Want to do this movie, Rafe? Yes. Yes, I want to do this movie. It's no problem. Don't you up the contracts? start in three weeks. Make a good movie, Mr. Hollywood. Now, we all know what we're talking about, right? Are you sure, Rafe? I understand the terms, Mr. Russo. I understand the terms, Mr. Russo. <laughs> I understand the terms. We got enough insurance on our end. Been, Harvey. Good, good, good. How are you? Good. Got a little job for you. Guy's name is Stoker. He's doing a movie down in Fort Lauderdale. I want you to get on his ass, harass him, break his balls. I want the movie finished, but not on time. Rafe Stoker, the actor? Yeah. I'll handle it. When? Three, four weeks. Here. Yeah. Get 5,000 more and the job is done. Okay, Tony. I'll tell you something, you picked the right guy for this. I've uh, been in a few movies myself. Just get the job done. Dominic. Guys, anyway, we're gonna make some bread, Mr. Rhodes. A lot more than he thinks. You mean we got a job, Harvey? We got another job? Yeah, in a while. I'll keep it a secret, all right? Don't tell the others. I ain't gonna say nothing to nobody, Harvey. You know that. You know I ain't gonna say nothing to nobody. My buddy, Mr. Rhodes. Hey, Harvey. Can we go in and have a beer with the rest of the gang? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Beautiful. Pick up Bernie. You all right, Bernie? Get in there. What are you doing? Get him over here. How was it? How the hell should I know? Did you get it or didn't you get it? You got a problem? Uh, no problem. Just uh, working 26 hours a day, and I just shot a chase sequence that takes three cameras, and uh, I have one. I'm shooting this with short ends from Gone with the Wind. Dave. And the crew's so tired, they can't hit their... Dave! Did you get the shot? You bet your ass. All right, print it! Blew the shot! I lost the mustache! You got the wig? Sure, I got the wig! Come on up. Get him up. Here's the wig. I took off. I had the speed. I had the height. And right in the middle of the thing, I could feel it come off. The mustache came off. I must have blown Barney. the shot. What? Barney. Oh. When I went off the end of the pier, is that what I was wearing? Yeah. Uh-huh. news. Hey, Barney, I don't care if he's bare-ass naked. That's the greatest goddamn jump I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take it from the top. Come on, Harry. Southern Florida making an exploitation film on bike riders. Is that right, Mr. Stoker? Uh, yes, sir, that's right. Well, how's your luck been so far? <laughs> well, it's rained every damn day that we've tried to shoot. You see, as a matter of fact, we were supposed to shoot the film in California, and, uh, well, we're doing the very best we can under the circumstances. Well, we sure hope the Florida sun will shine so you can get yourself right back on schedule. That's what I'm trying to do, Mr. Simpson. Hey, they want hey, me to set. Hey, hey. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Stoker. Mr. Ray Stoker, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Wayne, and now back to music. You want to be in the movies? What? <laughs> you want to be in the movies? Hey, Tex, Jesus, come in. I master his voice. <laughs> JJ, you two, get your ass over here. Come here. Get your ass over here. How'd you guys, uh... How'd you like to be in a movie? <laughs> Out of sight! Let's go, stir of sound! There's a movie shooting right now. Just wondering if you guys like to be in it. Hey, Harvey, I'd like to be in the movies. How are you gonna get us in the movies? How? If the star of the movie happens to be a personal friend of mine, dumb dumb. Yeah, all right, all right. Dynamite. Come here, you stay here. We're gonna be in a movie. Why not? Hey, George. Hey, do I look good enough to Have be a, a movie star? Huh? Hey, do do I feel you like a movie star? Rama, <laughs> you are. Oh, Two million BC. <laughs> mm. Hey, Harvey, we really got to be in the movie? Certainly are, Mr. Rhodes. First, I want to get some wheels. But, but I don't ask you. Just shut up and do what I tell you. We'll have a little fun, too. Wait behind the door over there till I call you. I just feel good. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, look, I didn't mean to bother you. R really. I was wondering if you had any, uh, nat lotion. Nat lotion. Nat lotion? Nat lotion. You know, for gnats. Uh, we don't have any nat lotion, so, uh... 
Oh, okay, then, heck, I'll just pop into town and, uh... You know, I gotta say one thing, though, before I go. I really love what Look, you've done with your van. I'm trying to tell you. We're really trying to make it comfortable, you know? Uh, heck, I think it's terrific. What, are you kidding me? I, I got a friend of mine who is an absolute fanatic on the... Uh, Heck, he's right outside. Uh, Rhodes, come on in the side door. Take a look at this place. I think you'll like it. Hey, uh... Just, 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 just... You don't, you don't mind, do you? Uh, uh, Rhodes, what do you think of this? Gee, this is nice, Harvey. This is what you had in mind, Rhodes? Isn't this nice? I spent a lot yeah. of money on this thing, and I would like to spend some time with this chick. You know what I mean? And you got the ice box too, Harvey. Rhodes, that's very good. I didn't even, uh, see the ice box. I do. I, I really like this. <laughs> Put me down. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Harvey. 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 Think I killed him, Harvey. I want to go right over here. Okay. That camera there, I'm going to land right about here, okay? You give me 50 yards and I'll cut. Dave, why are you going to come right up over here, right up over the top of the hood? Lower that camera down so we miss the ramp. Bring it down. The ramp clear? Just about it. All right. Now? Okay, it's out of sight. Get Barney warmed up and we'll shoot this turkey. 33, partner. up about those kids, period. That didn't, that's it. Are you really going to get us in the movie? I was in Spartacus with Kirk Douglas. Uh, is he the one with the, or the, the teeth? Kirk, Kirk Douglas.
going up with the car one time. Didn't know all that, did you? Larry, get her out of here. Look, lady, we're trying to eat in peace. Oh, please, don't mind me. Go right ahead. Eat. I like to watch. Get out of here. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. It's, uh, time. Oh. Look here, brother. Did you get a sense of humor, man? We just trying to have a little fun. We ain't hurt nobody. I'll have you know that this lady right here is on the committee of Planned Parenthood. Partner is a federal narcotics agent. Do you know what this is, punk? Uh oh, yeah. You two get out of here right now. Right. Sir, I apologize. Officer, oh, I'm sorry. I consider this my fault. These people are with me. We had a party earlier. Get going. <laughs> With too much beer and wine, the old rowdy miss. I apologize. So you can't have any fun anymore. Yeah. Damn cops, they break How up everything. Christ. Huh? You had a bigger cop. I'm gonna kick what? his ass. <laughs> I got his punk hanging. I don't take that crap off nobody, man. <laughs> Newlyweds, I got them newlyweds hanging. Man, he sure was pissed off. Hey, buddy! We'll go wake up. <gasps> Tuxedos, we're moving. Oh, God. Mr. Rose, this is excellent work. This is excellent work. I thought you liked that, Harvey. You know what I'm going to do? Just for this? I'm going to see that you get a featured role in the movie. Me? Featured Thank you, Harvey. role. Let's get the hell out of here. shot everything we scheduled. Yeah. I just wonder if there's any good. It was good. Hey, Ray. Yeah. Uh. Hey. 530 production meeting. Okay. Get some rest. Next week. Hey. Well, what I want to tell you was, uh, I mean that I noticed that you know that I screwed the shot. You noticed I, I didn't have a leather jacket on. Well, I'll do it again for free. I know it's a low budget <laughs> film. You need the bread. I mean, that's all there is to it. Hey, let me tell you something, partner. You go off a 30 foot pier, 70 miles an hour on a motorcycle, and you jump 150 feet. If somebody notices that you don't have a black leather jacket on, I'm going to kiss your ass in Macy's window and give you 30 <laughs> seconds to draw a crowd. You know what I mean? A tough guy, huh? Well, bam! Study for four or five years. <laughs> okay, later. Okay, Barney. Joker. Hollywood man, they call me Hollywood man, too proud to step aside. Star that longs for one, 
One final chance One chance to shoot for the sky And if the world Gets in my way I'll still go Okay, well, what about the dailies? Look at the dailies lunchtime. Barney, have you got the fight scene blocked out? Because we have to have it today. It's together. Give me about an hour. Talk to you in about an hour about it, okay? Yeah. Okay, and I promise you this time I'm not going to punch you out like the last guy. I love all you. Can I say something? What? What if it rains? I'll get you an umbrella. Dave, if it rains and we move inside the store and everything is fine, right? We don't have the store. I'll get the store, Dennis. I'll take care what of it. What if you don't get the right. store? Oh, you know what? Listen, I don't want to bring up bad news or anything. I have to redeem for the fellas. No money since Tuesday. Hey, hey Barney. Oh, buddy, didn't I ask you about a hundred times not to talk to me about per diem or money? You talked to Dennis. Oh, talk Dennis. to Dennis. Dennis told me to talk to you. He well, did talk to me no. about it, Ray, but I told him to talk to you because until you, you talk to, to me, Brinkman, no. we don't have any money. I'll talk to Brinkman, all, all right? right down, pal. Turkey, he had to help you. <laughs> Who's in charge of this outfit? I guess I am, officer. What, uh, what can I do for you? Well, I'm going to tell you one time, and I want you to listen to me. I don't want to hear these loud son of a bitches on my streets again. Ooh. Well, we had a permit, and I told you what we were going to be filming. You said it was all right. So you're not listening to me. If I hear these loud bastards on the streets again, you're not going to have any permit. Yes, sir. Nice jump, kid. Hey, you're charming. Bernie Baffle, that muffler for me, would you? Covered. Hey, anybody working with me? Everybody but God, we got a light problem. We got a car trouble moving in. We got a light problem, then we use the What's the matter with this? The generator ain't going to put out enough juice. To... And we got Bill, two lights over. Bill, yeah. You the gaffer? Oh yeah. We'll handle it for me, will you? Handle it. All right, thanks. Don't worry about it, Ray. If we don't match the light, we can always donate the film to the Braille Institute. You know that evil Knievel? I mean, the guy's a, a great guy and all that. When I was at the Snake River, I was going to jump the canyon. I just dropped me a little mescaline. I have my 950. Built me a ramp. Took off from the ramp. I just came over the thing, and I missed it by eight feet. You know what happened? What happened? I died. <laughs> what is your joke? Let's go. So you wanted to be in show business, huh, kid? You just keep laughing. You've seen this coming up next. Uh-oh. <laughs>
see that they use that for the night shooting. They call it a blue light. Excuse me, Miss Honey. I wonder if you could help me. I'm looking for a personal acquaintance of mine, Mr. Ray Stoker. Is he? Uh, he's a friend of mine. Is yeah, he yeah. He's in makeup. Makeup. Where? It's Over around, here. It's around the corner. Thank you so much. How's it going? Good. It's fine. Yeah. There he is. Huh? Rafe Stoker, oh, son of a bitch. For Christ's sake, how the hell you been, man? Well, it's been a doing? long time. How yeah. are you? Jesus uh, Christ. Doing good. good to see you. Julie Martin. Julie. Julie, for Christ's sake, Julie Martin. Excuse me. Don't, don't do that, for Christ's sake. Julie, listen, I'm not just your average fan. I'm just acting myself. Rafe will tell you. Listen, babe, I just like, I like you to know. Thank you. Hey, partner. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, else. I don't want to be impolite or anything like that. But we got to go back to work, and uh, I'll tell you something else, I don't remember you. <laughs> you don't remember me? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> soon they forget. <laughs> Rafe, two and a half weeks I worked with you on running to run, for Christ's sake, give me a break. Hey, Harvey here was in Spartacus, man. Spartacus, Kirk Douglas. Yeah, uh, allow me to introduce my friend, Rose. Rose, say a little Rafe. Oh, Rafe. Yeah, you're the motor yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> See, you give me that shit, it makes me crazy. That's <laughs> <laughs> we gotta shut up now. Come on. Hey, look, look. Run Andrew Run was a long time ago. But it's good to see you again, but we gotta go to work. See? Oh, right, right, right. Hey, she's, she's gotta be some guys, I promise you. You look just about good enough to eat. You look just about good enough to eat. You told me what, you watched him about a thousand times? No? Yeah, not. <laughs> you get a hundred bucks a day. Per man, that includes the bikes. You got two choices, man. We start early in the morning. You got ten seconds. I don't need it. I believe this man is pissed. Get back to work. All right, strike your arc. All right, hit that other one. Crank him up. Crank him up. Crank him up. Are you guys set? He can play the fucker up. All right, run, run. Mr. Russo. That bullshit. You gonna let him get away with that? Let's go, brother. Hey, really. settle down, settle down. We've got ourselves a movie to make. Okay, you're right. Okay. Okay? Still gonna make a deal with him. Some cash. Ain't nobody would buy some cash, is it? Bulls. He ain't gonna go for it. You blow up his generator. He'll go for it. No way. You get next to him. He's gonna knock you on your ass. Again. Shut up. I saw him a couple TV series. Looks about half tough to me. Fire. And how would you know that, huh? He knows all about that stuff. Harvey's been to Hollywood. I didn't know you were into movies, Harvey. Oh, yeah, man. 
Harvey was in Spartacus with Kirk Douglas. Hi, Alf. <laughs> the only pictures Harvey do. He play the coyote in the road veranda. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to pick up their camera. Got it. Pick that. Associates here uh, around the drinks. Okay, anything they want, and uh, hey, give the bill to this guy here, Jesus. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Let me go with you. What would you wear? Hey, Mr. Bartender, what's wrong with your pool table here? Why don't you try sticking a quarter in it? Nice to see you. Thank you. The party's waiting for you right over here. Find him on the corner table. Nice to see you. Angelo, how you doing? Great. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Nice. Julie? Uh, what can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thank you. Waiter? A bottle of your finest champagne, please, for my friends to celebrate our new venture here. Well, thanks a lot, Angelo, and uh, thank you for coming over, because I know how busy you are. Never too busy for you, Ray. And my partners and I are very pleased to see the publicity that the new movie is bringing into the area. <laughs> That's great. Then everything's fine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah it's terrific, really. Some stuff you can't blame. Julie is I mean, Ray is doing the directing and... <laughs> I'm sorry. The crew is fantastic. Well, then there are no yeah, problems. Well, we got a couple of... Uh, we had a couple of little problems. We ran into, uh, we ran into some rain, and uh, we weren't expecting that. And then some bikers came through and shot a couple of holes, holes in the generator. Don't worry about the pumps. The generator's insured. Yeah, I know the generator's insured. But some things came up that we... Angelo? Angelo, we're behind schedule. We're not really that far behind schedule with you. Rafe, how far behind? Five days. I see. My partners and I give you $375,000. In return, you promised a good commercial product. These are your figures. How much more? Well, if we don't run into any more unforeseen circumstances, I need another $100,000. Oh, $100,000? Absolutely out of the question. Take it to the man and drops old you. I'll take it down and take it up to love you. Say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, I do. <laughs> you know what happened to me last night? I met this chick at the bar, and I took her home to the hotel. And I was, uh, you know, she said she wanted me to tie her up. Yeah? Huh? All right, I'll be right there. I'll be back in a little while. Keep it warm for me. Huh? So I went down to the car to get some coke. And uh, I came back, and this is what mattered to us when I came back. All the doors were all the same. What room is that? <laughs>
jump too hard. We're just fucking them up. Cut your head and jump. Fuck with me? Yeah. Business is business. If you can't fulfill your commitment, we're prepared to write it off. Hmm. But we won't be happy. Look, Angelo, I'm trying to do something here. That budget I gave you was bottom line. I wasn't... I, 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 I didn't know... Rafe, I'll give you 50000 more. It's not enough. My partners and I We'll commit ourselves to 50,000 more. Not 51, 50. If you'll guarantee me a good commercial product. If not, you got it. Then that's settled. Yes, sir. Then we have no more problems. No, sir. Ms. Harris? It's always a pleasure. Thanks, Angela. See you later. I know that we've discussed this before, but why don't you let me use my money? It would be so much safer. Julie, God damn it. We have oh, been through that. Just you being here with me on the phone. With me. I'm, I'm totally sorry. Could I, uh, could I trouble your folks for an autograph? I'd be very pleased. But when did you get out of here? Just got here. <laughs> but you came on my set. You shot a couple of holes in the generator, and I punched you in the mouth. Let's call that even. But I'm gonna tell you, if I see you again, when you get back on my set, and I don't give a about that gorilla there, I'm gonna hurt you. And I want it to be clear. Now, let's, let's keep it quiet. Do you know what I mean? Sure, yeah, sure. <gasps> Five more big ones in, and it's got a hair trigger, so you better be sweet. Do you understand? Yeah. Mr. Rhodes, Mr. Stoker here's not gonna let us be in this movie. But you told me I was gonna be in a movie, Savvy. What he's gonna do, though, is he's gonna give us some money to let him finish his movie. Mr. Rhodes, what do you think uh, the budget would be on a stupid little turkey movie like Mr. Stokey here is making? What do you think? I don't know, Harvey. I... Uh, what do you think, Harvey? Come on, Rhodes. Give me a... Take a guess. Give me a ballpark figure. Give me a guess. I don't know, Harvey. About 300,000? Sure. About 300,000. Yeah. Very good, Rhodes. About 300,000. 
Well, Mr. Stoker here is going to give us 10% of his budget. How much would that be, Rhodes? Uh, $3,000, Harvey. $30,000. Yeah, $30,000. $30,000. I don't have $30,000. I know you don't have it in your pocket, you stupid. But you can get it. I just saw Mr. Moneybags walking out of here. I know you can get it. And you're going to get it. You know why? <laughs> We're going to borrow Miss Julie for a while. Shut up. You shut up. We're going to borrow Miss Julie for a while. And then when you get it, we'll have a uh, sort of a swap, you know. So what we'll do now, we'll just go for a nice little ride. We'll drop you off right somewhere. I'll give you a buzz in the morning. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Rose, why don't you walk out ahead with Mrs. Tucker? I'll follow behind with Miss Julie. Is that okay with you, Mr. Movie Star? Let's go. Good evening. Nice to see you. You have reservations? Remain silent. I don't want to remain silent. I want to know what the hell I'm doing in the back of a police car with handcuffs on me. You're going to jail. What do you think you're doing? What for? Who are those guys you fight with back there? Look, I don't know who they were. I know they were out of their goddamn minds. Well, they went with you. Hey, look, how am I going to report it to you? You wanted to chase me out of town already once today. Now, when are I you people going to get down to some reality? That's a real gun I saw out there. These people aren't playing around with you. What the hell do you think you're doing? You want to make one of these cheap Hollywood movies? 
Now, we had this damn town cleaned up by that biker's gum until you and that damn movie crew came in here. Now they're back. You know, it's really ridiculous. I don't believe it. Being here with you is like playing a bad scene in a B movie with a dumb, honky sheriff. Well, you keep it up, Mouth. I'll show you a honky cop. You got a cigarette? I don't smoke. I didn't figure you would. Look, I know this is hard for you to understand, but all I wanted to do was make a movie. I didn't want to cause you any problems. I didn't want to cause me any pain. But I got to finish this movie. Will you let me? You got to finish your movie. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to let you finish your movie. I'm not doing you any favor. Because this dumb honky cop wants a piece of their ass. Thank you. Can I ask you something? You haven't shut your mouth yet, have you? What I'd like to know is, uh, who do you hate most? Me? The bikers? Or, or yourself? You're just gonna have to wait and find out, aren't you? Yeah. Doctor, Ow! Just Christ! What's in there? What's he doing in there? Please, sir, just be patient. The doctor knows what he's doing. How long is he gonna be in there? I told you before, just take a seat. Take a seat. Patient. Patient. Yeah. If he was your friend, you'd worry about how he was. Sick. Relax and sit down. You can relax and sit down if your friend was in this. Relax and sit. Dr. Seidelman, line one, please. Dr. Seidelman. What's wrong with your little boy? Oh, he's fine. It's his father. What's wrong with his father? Oh, he was hurt this afternoon. My friend was hurt too. Next time we relax and sit down and don't worry about it. Yes, of course, yes. I worry about my husband, too. What's his name, you little boy? Eddie. Eddie, come here. I'm not gonna hurt you. You afraid of me? Dr. Joe? You know it wouldn't hurt your little boy, you know that. Of course not, no. Hey, Eddie? You, you watch the Three Stooges? You want me to tell you a story about the Three Stooges, Eddie? Hey, Hoff, you all right? Huh? Hey, just a minute, sir. Who's responsible for this bill? This bill must be paid before we let you leave, sir. Do you have any identification? Blue Cross? Any medical insurance? No, we don't take credit cards. Have you got a driver's license? You're a long way from home, Thomas. Is get this the your correct address? Hey, listen, get a hold of your friend. He can't leave here without signing no, no, this. No, no, I'm sorry, right. but I need a signature. It's all right, little girl. Everything's gonna be all right. It's all right. Everything's all right. Shouldn't ask him for that. <laughs> hey, Harvey, I didn't mean to kill her, man. I didn't, man. I didn't mean to kill her, Hov. You just tell me what you want me to do. I'll make up for it. Anything you want, man. I'm gonna kill Stoker. All right, we'll kill Stoker, Harvey. I'll help you get him, man. Not you. You let me down tonight, Rules. I'm gonna kill Stoker. All right, Harvey. All right, Harvey, whatever you say, you kill Stoker, man. You kill Stoker. He's gotta know it was me, though.
hurt and bad. You going home, darling? No, I'm not going home. Oh, yeah, you are. You got one more little scene and we'll pick that up in Hollywood. No. No, no. No, I'm staying here with you. You can't, Julie. <laughs> Everything got all crazy. I don't know what's going on. People running around with guns. It's not make-believe anymore. A guy stuck a pistol up your belly tonight. Wave. Wave, I'm okay. I know you are. I know you are, and that's why I'm putting you on an airplane this morning for Los Angeles. So you're gonna stay okay. If you're staying here, I am staying here. All right, then that, that, that's a wrap, isn't it? Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> we'll just wrap it. I mean, I mean. But I'm just gonna shut down a whole movie and send everybody home. You're not gonna quit. There is no movie anywhere in the world that means as much as you mean to me. I know that. Yeah, man, and it's only the top. <laughs> Feel better, Harvey? Forward to put it in the verse. Let's go! Let's go! I'm sorry. Well, I'm on the downside of 50, partner. And I'm just about ready to hang it up. Been a lot of rides in my day. This just ain't making. Start getting your face together, babe, because you don't want your friend to finish the movie without you, do you? How you doing? I'm doing okay. You don't like me, do you? You're all right, Harvey. Why haven't you asked me how I'm feeling? All right. How's your head today, Harvey? How you doing, babe? Fine, thank you. Good, I'm glad, man. I'm real glad for you. Because you need that.
JJ. Yeah. What? Why were you laughing? Why were you laughing before? Chris, I don't know, Harvey. Let me in on it, man. I... You need a good joke, Harvey? Yes! I got a joke for you. Look at yourself, Harvey. You're ridiculous, man. Yeah. You're gonna kill Stoker? <laughs> you can't pull your pants up without King Kong to help you, and you're gonna kill Stoker? Give me a break. Tell nobody, man. Hey, man, you can't do this. Hey, Harvey, man, wait a minute. It's me. I ain't never gonna tell nobody, man. I promise, man. I'm gonna be with you always. I ain't never gonna tell nobody. Look. Yeah, the swelling's gone down. Can you cover it? Yeah, yeah, we can get that covered. But I hope you don't do this every night. I'm a makeup man, not a plastic surgeon. Right. How are you holding up? Guy, you have done a fantastic job, but you still make an ugly chick. You ready to go to work? Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. me you backing up son scene 26 take one action right
I cut it. How was it, Dave? Piece of cake. Sound? Beautiful. Okay, it's a print. Now, take everything and just move it all the way down there. Dave? Yeah. Bill? Come with me, I'll show you next set. All right, Dave, you gonna pick us up? Direct continuation of the last scene. Come down here, Julie and I, two cops after us, over the railing and... Strike that, you pick us up down here, because Julie's never gonna get over that railing. All right, I'm gonna take a shoulder shot, take a hit at that second yellow box. Bud, you time me 20 feet behind me, give me a pop, bam, hit it. Keep on going right around. As soon as we clear that side of the boat, Dave, Otherwise, I'm going to pan you all the way around. All the way around. OK, I can do this with one reflector. Give me one reflector on the end down there. Damn, got it. it. One reflector. Sky. Hey, Gene, it's ain't a coffee break. Get the reflector. Right. Set the camera up down on the end and get me a, a G15 for it. Let's go get a drink. Come on, help Happy. Me. Down here. Hey, oh. Audrey, would you stay with me, please? I want to go home, Rafe. I know the hour is long. It's just hard on the sun of this time. Come on. Look, we've done a lot of these turkeys, and we're going to do one more, and we're going to finish this. Rafe, summer. one of those freaks raped me last night. trouble. We gave you another 50000 You still shouldn't be in its schedule. Now, we need more insurance to protect our investment. Just a few papers for you to sign, Rafe. <laughs> I don't believe you guys. I got $125,000 of my own money in this film. I got my life and... Take the papers and shove them. Rafe, sign these papers or you'll be in our office tomorrow morning with all our investment. When you finish the movie, you get 50% back for the asking. Get up out of the water, would you please? Yeah, look at that. Barney, I want to show you about this boat someday. Last time he worked in Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. You want an adjustment for that? 
Hi, Ray. Hey, Mr. Movie Star. Oh, boy, what a good-looking boat. All right, here's what's going to happen, Barney. I'll just kick the two cops in the water. There's still sirens all over. They're coming in. Julie and I are going to jump in a boat, and I'm going to tell her to get down, because we don't have the money to double her. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as I ram that thing forward, it's going to be a cut. It's going to be you. So why don't you get in the drag? Sounds good. You know, it's a really fine boat. It does about 150 miles an hour. What I can do is take it up around that buoy and hit that curve, come back right to Barney, the bridge. Will you wear the jacket this time? Good thinking. Dave, bring it on down here. Uh, what was the low angle that I wish? Okay, I'm looking at right here. Pull out right here. Right on that sky. You ready, Dave? Yeah, we ain't gonna get no better. We might as well shoot him. Okay. You ready, Ray? You bet. Roll it. Take one. Action. Jump in and get out. That's That's, he's getting in hard. I got it. I got it. All right, all right. Cut it. Cut it, Dennis. All right, Dennis, get Barney out here. Barney, we're ready. Barney, get Barney out here. Barney, we're ready. I've been this all day. I don't know boats, man. This is where I get off. I'm these boats. You got him, man. You got him, Bob. You got him. Oh, look. Where'd he come from, man? That's him. Yeah. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out! That was him over there, Hobbs. That's him. He was over there. That's him. Get out!
Everything completed? You got what you're paying for. No problem. Where are you? Well, I'm at the beach cafe and I have a plane to catch. Oh, all right. We'll be there in 30 minutes. Hey, did a good job, Hollywood man. Dominic, the beach cafe. They said a half an hour. In 40 minutes. Let's go. They took half my movie, and I'm gonna get it back. And I'm waiting. Movie. Well, it doesn't seem worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Well, for Christ's sakes, Rafe, a few days ago there were dead bodies all over town. Do you think that a movie is worth it? It wasn't my fault. I finished the movie, and it's good. Sure, it was good. Hollywood name 